I'm going to show you how to create and debug a Linux console application on the Cal State East Bay Scilab Linux machines using putty.exe. Uh, putty is going to let us connect to those machines over SSH, a secure shell protocol, over the internet, which will be a safe, secure connection. So um, first we have to get Putty. Um, so it's uh, out there on the internet. I'll just bring up a browser and I'll install it. Um, I usually have luck just googling putty.exe and usually have the yeah this greenend.org.uk putty download page and it's what we call an SSH client. It'll let us connect to the SSH server up on Scilab. So we don't want source code. Uh, Hold on. So we'll just scroll right down to binaries and find the one for our platform. We want the putty.exe on Windows on Intel x86. And um, we're sure we want to download it. So it just downloaded this binary and it's going to be wherever your uh, binaries go. Like in my case, it's just right there on my desktop. Um, so I can just double click it to start it up. And then we're going to go and uh, connect up. So here in the host name field, we type in one of our host names, SS for 0 S10. Um, now, those last two digits can be anything from uh, 6 to 20, I think it is. And then we'll go to Psi East Bay.edu for 22 SSH. And um, that's all we have to do, type open and you'll get this <clears throat> alert which is making sure you're connecting to the host you want to and it just said yes to that and then login as this would be your account name or uh, login name let's see it's uh, the login field of your account page uh, I have an account there under my name and I have a password and there we are at the Linux prompt on the Scilab machine. So it's pretty raw. Uh, we're going to have to learn how to edit here uh, in the console. We can actually edit back on our other machine, but I'm going to try to stay in the console. Um, there are many uh, editors you can use. Um, I'll just use uh, Emacs and uh, we'll start up Emacs with the file name. I'll just call it main.cpp. Um, this is in my messy home directory, but um, Emacs will start up, and if you read this, um, you can see get help is there, and you can go through the help online, or mostly you can just use your arrow keys and a few magic key combinations to save and exit. Otherwise, it pretty much does what you want, but there's no mouse support. So, uh, like it says, uh, type control L to begin editing. That'll clear out the screen, and we can type in our standard Send C++ code. Emacs uh, syntax highlighting happens. Okay. So to save the file, I hit Control X and then Control S, and that saves it. And Control X, Control C will exit. Um, so there's, you could actually uh, get the file there by various means or use other editors like VI, which is very common, very popular, easy to use. Um, but now that we have this, we compile it with the compiler, which is called G++. And um, one option we'll give is the dash O option to tell it um, the name of the executable we want to create. And we'll just call the executable main. Uh, we don't have an exe extension on Linux. And then we give the file name or with our source code in it, main.cpp. 
And if nothing goes wrong, it prompt comes right back, and then I can run it by dot slash main. And there's our output, hello world. Um, but it just ran and completed, and we're back at the prompt, so it's not using the debugger. Uh, the debugger uh, here on Linux is GDB. Um, to use it, you have to first compile your program to the debugger with the minus G option. So we'll add that option to the other one. So the output goes in main, and we run main. Um, we run main, it, it still works as before, but to use the debugger, you type GDB main. And then when the prompt comes up, you can type run. And again, it just exited. Um, we didn't set a breakpoint. We set a breakpoint with the break keyword, and we'll say break main, which actually means as soon as it goes into the main function, it will stop. And then we'll say run. And now it says breakpoint one at main. Uh, I can type the list command. It'll show me the area I'm at. It says I'm at line four here, which means I'm about to execute that line. So if I type next, or just in, it will execute that line, print out hello world, because that's what that line does, and then tell us it stopped at line five. And I can use next to get to the end of the program and then finally just exit. Um, <clears throat> and then you can quit the debugger with quit. Uh, you can also print any variables you need by just saying print, you know, variable name. I don't have any variables here, but that's how you can see what's happening while you're single stepping. Uh, quit will get you out of the debugger. And that's about it. Good luck.